Hello, boys and girls. It's your friendship teacher, Miss J. I'm so happy to see you, and it's time to check your choices again. In this video, we're going to be talking about a special rule that helps you figure out whether to go get an adult when there's a problem or try to solve it yourself. In our last video, we learned that if someone's hurting our body on purpose or making us feel afraid, that's an extra large problem. And to solve extra large problems, we need to seek help because adults are our extra help for extra larges. But even knowing that, it can still be a little bit tricky to figure out when you go get an adult and when you try to solve the problem yourself. There's a special little rule that can help us figure out whether to go get an adult. It's called the 2D rule. There are two words that start with the letter D. And if my problem has either of these words in it, I have to go get an adult right away. Do you think one of my words is the word donut? If I can't decide what donut to eat, do I need an adult right away? Boys and girls, donut is not one of the D words from the 2D rule. What about dancing? If I'm trying to figure out my best dance move, do I need to go get an adult right away? Nope, that's not it. Dancing isn't the right word either for the 2D rule. What about the word dinosaur? Do you think that's one of the 2D words? Now some of you might have said yes, and some of you might have said no. And you both could be right. It depends on what's going on with that dinosaur. If you and I wanted to play with the same toy dinosaur, we wouldn't need to get an adult to figure out how to be like Gotcha Green. We could share. Now I know this couldn't happen, but if it could and a real dinosaur was chasing me, I do need to go get an adult right away. I wouldn't go get an adult because of the word dinosaur though. That's not the 2D word. The 2D word is the word danger. Danger means something's happening where somebody's body could get very, very hurt. What they're doing is not safe. You ever see or hear of something dangerous and someone could get very hurt? You need to go tell an adult as fast as you can. Think of it like you have super turbo booster rocket shoes and you need to get to the adult fast because that adult needs to save anyone before they get hurt. When we're getting extra help for extra large problems, we have to do it fast. We don't walk slowly or wait for somebody else to do it. So if we know there's danger, we need to get help fast. But there's another D word that tells us that we need to get help right away. It's the word damage. Have you heard that word before? Do you know what it means? Damage is not when someone is getting hurt, but when something is getting hurt. It's getting broken, wrecked, or destroyed. It would have to be fixed, but it would probably be really hard to fix it, and it might even cost a lot of money. You can think of it that way too. Easy fixes are probably not damage, but hard fixes are probably damaged. If I press down too hard on my pencil and I accidentally break it, that's not damage because it's an easy fix. But if somebody spray paints on a wall or the school, that is damage. It's a hard fix and it's actually illegal. If you see that damage has happened or it's about to happen, go get an adult right away. Adults solve the damage problems. So now you know the 2D words for the 2D rule. If your problem has damage or danger in it, go get an adult. If you want, there's a special little trick you can use to remember. Damage or danger there should not be, I'll get an adult to help me. If someone hurts me or makes me scared, I'll tell an adult so they're aware.
It's time for your challenge, boys and girls. This time I'm challenging you to remember the 2D rule. It can help you to decide whether you go get an adult right away or you can try and solve the problem yourself. Remember, damage or danger there should not be. I'll get an adult to help me. And that means it's time for me to sign off again. I'll see you soon, but until then, take care of yourselves and each other. Goodbye, boys and girls.